Nigeria is a classic study in contrast. It's a nation of dirty, disorderly streets clogged with honking cars and beeping mopeds. But then Nigeria also is a place where well-mannered school children stand in unison. It's a nation of contrast and paradox, to be sure. But for the millions of Nigeria-born immigrants around the globe, it's a place to come home to. This is Jackpore Road in the city of Sapley. It's here in the country's Niger River Delta region, where it all began for Victor Jackpore of Phoenix, Arizona. After my dad passed away, that one of the things that my dad would want me to do to come back and uh, continue some of those uh, uh, philanthropic things that he did. Victor's father yearned to provide a better life for his children and the people in his community. And now, Victor wants to continue his father's legacy and encourage his homeland. Okori is typical of Nigerian villages mired in poverty. Many children go hungry, their arms and legs stick thin. Many youngsters don't even have clothes. Yet despite all their deprivation, the villagers welcome us with ample smiles. You're welcome. How are you? How are you? Are you happy? Yes. These are the faces of Nigeria's future. They are faces glowing with optimism, minds brimming with dreams. Everyone of you want to go to the university? Victor's aunt, Mary Ogbimi, is the principal of Ethio Primary School. I see the greatest needs is, the, you know, having more rooms for them. Another dire need is for books. Just look at all those children who don't have math books. The children crave a brighter destiny. The children are learning with yes. They are just trying to learn. Yes. There is nothing high-tech about the Sapele Clinic, but the doctor, Emmanuel Sage, is as sharp a physician as any in the industrialized world. Dr. Sage says it's critical for himself to stay informed about advances in medicine, even if the latest technology is hard to get in Sapele. Abroad, you can just go and order for them and they'll be delivered. It is not so here. There may be nothing high-tech about the Sapele Clinic, but its doctor has high hopes. We Americans live in a media-saturated culture, but for everyday Nigerians, a book is a rare commodity. The city of Sapele, home to tens of thousands of people, has not one single library. Part of the problems of the youth uh, in our society right now is lack of adequate information. He says a library is essential for his community so that people can learn about the world at large and how to improve their part of it. He believes Nigerians, like Americans, should have information at their fingertips. There is a rhythm about this place. The rhythm beats, jumps, twists, and shouts through Reverend John Agigwa's church, the Grace Ministry. Even while preaching a sermon, he burst into song in mid-sentence. And before you know it, well... After two weeks in this rhythmic place, Victor Jackpour and his team are determined to keep the movement going. I think this is just the beginning. Uh, we just pray that God will just help us. Go and buy your food. The rhythm of Nigeria is chaotic, yet harmonious. Hostile, yet hospitable. A place of startling contrast where God's people can bring one unifying hope. Our Lord represents hope and love and a chance that maybe their life would be better.